Yo, yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Zango with you, and today we got another video for you guys. And today we're going to be testing out the differences between WordPress 6.8 and WordPress 6.9. Let's check out what they have in WordPress 6.9. First of all, to test this out, you can, there's multiple stuff you can do. The easiest is to go into the WordPress playground and just uh, set up a live playground and just test it out if you want to. Uh, the only thing I didn't want to use this one is because you cannot install themes in this one. So I didn't really want to use this one. Uh, you can directly download the beta version and install it locally or on a non-production website like a development website. Uh, so over here on the right I have WordPress 6.83. Over here I have WordPress 6.9. Okay, let's check out the first thing. So what they did is that they basically did something called the template management they just expanded it uh, in the themes so over here if i have 2025 for example and i want to customize the theme appearance itself i can go into the editor and if i have custom templates like for example okay let's create a new template let's call it uh, custom template just to make sure that uh, it's created let's do this in 6.83 in 6.83 when you create a uh, a custom template and you change the theme it's not going to be saved so that is what they're claiming custom template let's uh rename it custom template 6.83 And this is for 6.9 okay so right now if we change the template if we change i'm sorry the theme itself uh the template that we created for the custom template should not be uh added over here so custom template 6.83 should not be appearing um, so let's go back to the wordpress itself panel and let's just change the theme let's go to 2024 Let's refresh this. So yeah, as you can see, the custom uh, page has disappeared. But over here, if I go into WordPress uh, 6.9, let me just uh, go back to the admin page. I go to appearance and then 2024, for example. Supposedly, if this uh, works, it's going to be in the templates. so it's still not there let me maybe created templates no actually here it is compatible theme so this is probably the like the issue uh, but other really than this like everything else in the template it's like it's still there it's and it's saved like the templates itself uh, over here it's not saved at all i can't find it uh, if I go into all templates and even search custom, I can't really find it. But over here, it's it's there, but like the header and footer are uh, not there. So maybe it's because of like the different blocks and themes. But other than that, like the template parts are still there. So that's pretty cool. It's not working like 100%, but uh, that's still fine. You don't really need the header and the footer uh, from the old theme anyways, if you're going to be changing themes. Uh, but that's pretty cool. And it has even like a little warning uh, that this is compatible with 2025, not uh, 2024. Okay, let's go to the other features. Um, they're saying the notes. Notes can be now attached to individual blocks. Okay. You can hide blocks on the front end. So it's pretty cool. Yeah, like this thing I just tested out a little bit. If you go into the paragraph over here in the coat, and I just hide this okay and we'll just save and go there it's gonna be hidden as you can see like the other quotation it's not there it's available like i can see it in the list view over here but you can't really see it on the page because we're hiding it so that's pretty cool uh in the old uh, 6.83 it's not old it's the stable version right now by the way it's not really old or anything uh, let's add in
overall like the editing also as well feels smoother i'm not gonna like over here it feels kind of weird compared to this like this kind of feels a little bit more smoother i don't know maybe this, i'm just like feeling this or something anyways um if i go over here you can lock it and i think there was like a way that you could hide it on like mobile or something like that i'm not really sure if it's like available for all the widgets but i do remember like there's a there was a way you could hide it here on mobile anyways uh right now you can hide it over here in 6.9 so that's something pretty cool uh another one we can add new blocks terms query so what's pretty cool about the terms query and the, the new widget accordion like previously they don't have an accordion you had to like install i think a widget for that so if i go over here and i search for accordion uh, there's a details thing i'm not really sure if it's the same uh thing or not it's um it's not like the accordion over here the accordion here is a lot better if we go into the accordion over here you can add an accordion item with like a question and then in the panel itself we're gonna find a paragraph you can just add in a question answer let's say answer one over here you had to write like a summary and it wasn't like a uh, a accordion faq like this one over here over here you can just duplicate this one and add in another accordion item uh, over here you'd have to add in like another summary you know and it will be weird uh compared to like this structure i think this structure is better uh, but i think like maybe you need to if you want to style it you can style like the first one and just duplicate the other ones so as you could see uh, the answers over here look probably a lot better than this one so yeah that's pretty much like this one looks more like an faq this one is not bad but it's not like it's a summary and even in accessibility if i check this i think this is a summary tag yes and this will probably be like more an faq tag so this is like s a span and just some buttons so actually like this one i think is more better for accessibility as well so make sure like understanding if you add like over here like a header with faqs then anyone with like impairment or any problems with like looking over here you can just like press over here and you would understand that this is a button more better than like a summary um so that's pretty cool yeah as you can see more flexibility um oh yeah we didn't check the term square so the term square is pretty cool as well the term square is uh, basically kind of like the terms taxonomy loop thing in uh, elementor pro so if i search terms there's this terms query and uh, if i check out the taxonomy uh, the taxonomies themselves are available let's check out if we can actually like uh, create a custom taxonomy and then like uh, display it like really quickly so we can use cpt ui or acf whatever you're co comfortable with but i usually use uh, custom post types because the post types that are in advanced custom fields are a little bit different i don't want to get into the details right now that's gonna like over complex the video so let's just custom post types i'm not really sure if there was a terms query before there was a query loop so a query loop is more like if you want to display posts not taxonomies so there was like other options to display the taxonomies like i used to use something called the search and filter that's a plugin so if uh like they have a dedicated widget that would be a lot better so let's add it and edit the taxonomy over here let's call it uh, custom uh, taxonomy let it be whatever custom taxonomy uh let's call it like i don't know ships and then this is just ship um just add in please select the post type just regular post types 
okay so we just check out if yeah we added the taxonomy so if we go back into the edit page okay will it appear like uh, directly or will it uh, terms query okay let's refresh the page let's check out if it's going to display the custom taxonomy that's going to be pretty cool if it can display the custom taxonomy uh, where is it terms query yeah as you can see you can display the ships as you can see so yeah i can display custom taxonomies i'm not really sure if in the query loop you can do the same things but i'm pretty sure that you can uh, like make a loop and display custom post types so as you can see i like post types query post or page you know but it's just usually for regular posts this is what i understand about it so that's pretty cool that's a pretty cool new feature as well a drag and drop block experience so instead of dragging a copy users now move the actual block itself within the editor uh, while rearranging content the result was a visually enhanced accessible editing experience for more users so i think like yeah like i'm not really sure what they did over here but it does feel a lot better like i don't know over here it, uh, it's kind of same thing like but i don't know like i can just drag things i think uh, more easily or i'm not really sure to be honest with you what's like the major difference over here maybe it's the accessibility features maybe it's something else and there's a lot more uh stuff that we could check out like performance there's saying support for patch fetch priority so like if i want to fetch something eagerly on like the page itself and like change the fetch priority of it like from zero to one or whatever priority you want to change so that's pretty cool as well um yeah pretty much uh, a lot of stuff has been changing also as well we can check out like the new abilities api that's pretty cool so i think this is like regarding the capabilities uh of like uh what somebody can do what somebody can do and so on and so forth so that's pretty cool so they're just like giving permissions uh, in the api itself so that's pretty cool and it also works with the wpcli i think and yeah, there's a lot more uh, wpcli as well updates in the common palette uh, the common palette anywhere in the dashboard to use the common palette so if i just press Control k okay that's pretty cool if I want to search commands and settings uh, and you can also use the new abilities API as well so we can just like uh, add more uh, like options over here as well like for the user uh, like what permissions you know what I mean so that's pretty much it like there's a lot of stuff uh, changing over here and that's pretty cool changes is, is really good and that's pretty much it that's for wordpress 6.9 i hope you guys like the video uh comment like and subscribe i'll see you guys in the next video this was angry to you and uh peace you guys